Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts, uh, particularly the mini guys. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do is do a little sequence here, just 10 minutes. Um, I've realised that really a 10 minute video is the best way to go, particularly for me, because the internet here in the country is so bad. It, to, to do a 10 minute video, 8 minutes or 10 minute video, takes about an hour, just over an hour to download it. So anything longer than that is just, it's just a nightmare and it keeps cutting out and so on. So I'm going to just keep them to the 10 minute format that I did before. I think people's attention span is, is shorter anyway these days and, and maybe it's enough. So uh, hopefully it's going to be okay and I can get in the content that I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you into this piece here which I'm going to work on. So I'm going to show you how it is now and then as I build it up and, and work it and, and, and get it to a point where it's actually finished. So what I'll do is, is I'll just zoom in now and then you can see this piece um, that, we're, that we're talking about. So you can see here um, there's, there's been some patches put in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get this reshaped. I'm going to add a piece here where it's missing so that this looks like it's one continuous line all the way down. These two have been spot welded, or th this has been spot welded, but this one hasn't, and it hasn't been spot welded around here. Uh, as internally but not externally so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some holes in here and then and then spot weld it right the way across so I'll just bring the camera down a section so you so you can actually see that sorry about the bad photography but there you can see that it's not been spot welded along here so as I say I'll drill some holes along here start to clean this up add some pieces to it uh, using a, a linishing a different linishing uh, um, uh, things that I've got, discs that I've got and, uh, and I'll just show you as I build it up and, and get it to a point then when it's finished and then primed um, uh, and then ready for uh, the uh, body shoots or the um, uh, stone chip when it's finished at the end but you can see it just doesn't look right here there's a couple of cuts that have been made in it to fold it so I'll get this really nice so it looks the same as the other side and in fact the other side on the bottom which I'll show you later has the same kind of issue but I'll clean all this up because when you go underneath it should look factory when it's finished. <clears throat> Apart from this front section I'm going to do here there's also a couple of things on the floor pan that I want to make nicer um, and particularly on this rib here you can see that it's been badly dented in here and here but unfortunately it's inside that uh, cross member that box section so it's actually impossible to get into um, and this was obviously damaged before, uh, you know, on the original car. This was damaged by jacking it up or, or hit something. And you can see it's quite badly grooved. And without taking that box section out across on one side, uh, I wouldn't be able to knock this out. That would be the better way to do it, would be to put a, a dolly in there and dolly it and bring it back out again, stretch the metal back out. But in this case, I can't do that. Obviously, filler is no good because it'll just come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this and here and bring the profile back up and I might finish it with lead. Now you might say that's a bit over the top because it doesn't make any difference to the construction of the car but I want it to look right underneath. I want the, the finish to be good and this is why these are lead loaded and not just got corking in them. So um, again I'll um, bring it in so you can actually see what, what we're talking about and I think you can see yeah. I think you can see there quite how bad that crease is in there. Obviously it would have been nicer to knock it from the inside but that's just not going to happen because it's not possible. So what I'll do is I'll build that up with lead, I'll linish it back and then any finishing I can do with, with, uh, um, with lead <coughs> just to give it a nice finish on it. You know, There's only these two ribs that are in not very good condition. The rest is all brand new obviously both sides and on this side on the bottom it's fine so there's no problems. So I can show you how to get rid of this, but filler won't do it, or sticking, I don't know, putty in it or, or silicone, it'll just come off, it'll, it won't look good. Um, and when you go for a test, an, an MOT test or an engineer's test, this is the kind of thing they'll pick up and they'll look at that. Even though it's not a fail, it'll show that the attention to detail has not been that great. And little things like this, where it looks correct, will, will make a big difference to the guy's report and so on. Or, or it passing or failing 
I know that from, from when I did the E-Type, when I took it, the guy went underneath and he came straight back up and said, it, it's a new car. So, um, you know, this is something you want to you be looking at. So I'll come back out again. Um, yeah, so, so these are the two things that I'll do. I'll do this and this, and then I'll bring it back and, and over a period of time you can see how I'm doing it, how I'm working it, and then the finished result. So, so I'm going to zoom you in and show you. I've already started to fill this, uh, and you remember how badly creased it was. So it's not built up. It's only about halfway there, and now I can continue to, to fill and uh, linish back, and I'll bring this in so you can see it. Too far. Hang on, excuse me. So you can see I've started to get the the curvature back, and what I'll do now is, is fill in these low spots with weld and then line uh, it back again. So we'll end up with one piece that looks complete. Uh, but you can see there's a massive difference there already. I'll do the same with this. This is not so bad. It really only means I have to do the top part, but I'll do this one first and finish it up and show you. So again, I've started to do some work on the front. I've only done a little bit of it, but again, I'll, I'll, I'll pan you in so you can actually see um, this front bit again. And you can see there that I've started to fill in. What I did was there was a bit of an overhang and there was a gap. So what I've done is I've actually sliced the, the outer metal and then knocked it back in and then welded it over. So this is just the first welds on it. Again here you can see I've done this, this one here, there was a split there and there. And now what I'll do is I'll knock them back. And also here there was a patch, which I'll now clean up. So here there's a little issue there. You can see that it kind of stops there. So I, what I can do is put a small piece in behind it and give it the appearance that this is one complete piece. Uh, and obviously it's welded, so there's no big deal with it. So this is the next bit we'll go on to. So, so as you can see, uh, I haven't actually filled this piece in yet, but I've trimmed all this up here and this piece in here and got rid of all this. And then what I've done is just cut that back slightly so it gives it more of an arch all the way around. What I'll do now is actually do this, these holes in here, fill this piece in, and uh, I'll do that in part two because uh, otherwise the video will go too, on too long and I'll sh show it finished. Okay, so again, I'll bring in this uh, one. You can see how this looks now. I'll zoom it in. And you can see now I've got, not, there was a bit of a dent here which I've filled in and also filled in this. So what I'll do now, I'll just give it a little quick primer. And what this will do is show up any, any defects in it. I've given this a shake already. little too much paint but just for the camera so you can see now there's a few little bits and pieces there that are not quite 100 percent that would be filled in with uh, primer and and um, body shuts or uh, or a stone chip but i'll just finish them off just to make sure so it's an easy way to, to use as a guide like a guide coat when you're um, trying to get a panel flat you can use a dark colour, a, a light spray over it, and as you rub it down, you'll see the difference is what's lying uh, ho, uh, li uh, low and high. And you can do the same thing with this. So I can easily rub that back off once it's dry, and then I can tack in or fill in those little bits I need to do on, on, the, on here. So that's it for this video, and I'll do a part two showing this, this other work on the other side. I'll just zoom out. Um, yeah, so I'll do a, a, a video on the rest of it, and then uh, I bet I'll do it in part two, otherwise it'll go on too long. So thanks for watching in, take care, and I'll catch you on the, on the next video. So I'm just using my remote, just getting used to it again. So take care, bye for now.